Ken Trahan along with Lenny Van Gilder. It's our first NBC Bank weekend review presented by First NBC Bank. 31 locations throughout the greater New Orleans area and beyond. First NBC Bank, proud sponsor of SportsNola.com. Well, an interesting weekend on the national and international front. The big stories, Dwight Howard, Wimbledon, Andy Murray, and everything else. And right now, the national scene kind of takes over while we have a little bit of a dry period. A little bit of a dry period, but hey, aren't we entitled to a, to a little bit of a lull here before things pick up? What are we, 18 days or so, 17 days from the start of Saints training camp? And it will be seemingly all Saints all the time. Of course, we know there's a lot more going on besides just that. But that's that's really when the, the trigger, I guess, that we know the fall calendar gets underway. We'll get a little bit of a tease in the next few days. you got the Manning Passing Academy going on in Thibodeau this weekend. Uh, some conference football media days coming up next week. Sun Belt here in New Orleans, the SEC in Birmingham. So, you know, a lot of looking ahead to the upcoming college football season there. High school slash college. The kid's only going into his sophomore year. Shea Patterson, who's committed to Arizona, is transferring from Hidalgo, Texas, to Calvary Baptist in Shreveport. His dad landing a good job there. It's great for Calvary Baptist and who knows? Could be good for LSU. They're interested in the kid, and even though he's committed to Arizona, he's going into his sophomore year of high school. That's a long way to go. You're getting these these earlier and earlier commitments. We just a few years ago never would have dreamt of the day that you'd have guys committing even this early before their senior year, as opposed to some time after the school year started. Now we've got guys who haven't even started their sophomore year yet making college commitments. Uh, it's becoming more and more common, of course, for guys before their junior year and. Uh, you know, by now everybody's almost done with what they're going to sign next February or pretty close to it in some cases. But, um, you know, a lot, a lot of time still to go there. A lot of things can change. The proposed trade where the Pelicans are concerned would send Gravis Vasquez and Robin Lopez elsewhere. And coming back would be Tyreek Evans along with Jeff Withy. And Withy, I think, would be an important piece. Even though he's a second-round pick, he's a center uh, with perhaps some upside. They clearly need a center. And with regard to Evans, obviously, I think the key here is whether or not they keep Eric Gordon. Because, Lenny, if they do, then where does Evans play? He's got to play the three, which he doesn't like playing, and he's really kind of undersized to play. So I think that's the big question moving forward. It is. And uh, a lot of the, clearly they're not done. Heard some rumors over the weekend that perhaps uh, there, there's some talk of a Ryan Anderson for Omer Ashik, who is not happy in Houston now that – Dwight Howard has uh, committed to sign with the with the Rockets come July the 10th when the league year starts. Still a lot of moving parts out there. Obviously, we're starting to see this Pelicans roster come into shape, but it's far from done. And, of course, we'll find out a lot more about what they have in terms of some young possibilities when the summer league gets underway later this week. And Kevin McHale says he's not trading Omer Ashik, so stay tuned. Of course, that can change. We'll see how that manifests itself the new orleans zephyrs of course had a nice july 4th celebration all-star break forthcoming hatcher's going there he deserves it and again this is a team that got a player from louisiana and wall coming this way from central private in addition to that it's a team that really hasn't uh, broken out they haven't distinguished themselves they've been uh, kind of a, a midland team throughout the course of the year right they haven't dropped too far below 500 haven't really been able to get on a run and get themselves well above 500 just kind of hovered a game above a game below that 500 mark for much of the last few weeks, so it's, it's just been that kind of year. You know, these Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at, at home, uh, and then they'll be on the road up until the All-Star break. So three more chances to see the Zephyrs this week before they uh, head out to close out the first half of the season. And the late season surge of the New Orleans Voodoo continued. Solid 63-49 road win at Utah. This is a pretty good team. Their record really is a lie at this point. They won four of their last six, and the two they lost were in the final seconds, and either one of them they could have easily won. So this is a team that's now tied for the final playoff spot with three to go, but those three are really tough. Defending AFL champion Arizona at Arizona, league's best record, then Jacksonville at home, best record in the American Conference, and then on the road at Orlando, the team they're competing with for that final playoff spot. This is quite a finish for them. It really is, and... I think they got to find a way to be able to win one of the next two, which is going to be a real challenge to put themselves maybe in a position in that last week to see what happens there, maybe maybe be a, a, a win-and-in situation uh, come the final week of the season. American Legion playoffs, stay tuned to sportsnola.com. Weather always plays a large factor in how these playoff games are going to unfold. And, of course, we look forward to seeing if we can have a team from the New Orleans area become a state champion once again. Well, 
or maybe a national champion. Who knows? Or maybe. Yeah, yeah, you got to, you know, it's a it's a, a long a long run from now. Just getting through, uh, you know, getting through these district tournaments, and uh, we'll see. Of course, uh, uh, Brother Martin based Peak BMW Jesuit based Retief Oil meeting on Monday uh, in the final of the the city series, the first district tournament. So. Uh, a long way to go in terms of the postseason as American Legion uh, gets cranked up. It's about a six-week run here of the American Legion all the way to the World Series. High school football previews galore day by day at sportsnola.com. You want to check those out and all new information on teams being loaded as well. You want to check that out. We certainly hope that you will. Lenny, as always, it's been a pleasure. Thanks very much. Hey, we'll see you later this week. That's our First NBC Bank weekend review brought to you by First NBC Bank with 31 locations throughout the greater New Orleans area. That's First NBC Bank, proud sponsor of SportsNola.com. For Lenny, I'm Kenny. Have a great week, and God bless.